Well, here's Ellen. She's saving an American chameleon, the Anole. The poor little guy, he, he ran into a, uh, a glue board trap, into a rat trap, and he was stuck down tight. I had to slide a big old butcher knife underneath him and kind of lift him off up out of all the goo, and he, his paws are all glued together, and he couldn't move, and so we cleaned him for a while on this rag over here. Ellen was wiping him off, but finally we give up because, you know, his fingers are so delicate and all. It was my idea that we'll roll him in flour. And so we've been holding him by the tail there and making him exercise in the flour to rub off all the gook. He's doing pretty good. I figure that he'll probably make it since lizards shed their skins anyway. And so any goop and flour left on him probably shed off in the next shedding. As long as he can get his fingers pulled apart. Well, we were having a little trouble with his front paws there for a while. But well, what do you think, Ellen? Is he, is he ready to go? Well, okay, he's looking perky. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, hey, hey, he's loose. Look at him. There he goes. I see him. Yeah. He may make. He may make it. He's doing all right. Three sets of toes. There we go. Look at this. He's up on. The, there he climbing. Good. He good. says, "Man, this is. I can climb better than I used to." He says, "What is going on here?" And I'm yeah. all white. Well, you can climb better than you used to, buddy, because you you got a glue board all over your toes. Poor guy. Well, hope his mouth isn't glued shut, huh? I don't think so. Okay, so we it, we were trying to help. You don't have to run from us. We were saving you. Hmm. He opened his part of his mouth. I don't know. Oh, good. Well, yeah. If he can open his mouth, he's yeah. I mean, it was like look. He was Oh, he's way, way better. I mean, hell, he was stuck down flat to the garage floor. We couldn't even get him off. Cannonball avocados. Uh, these avocados were a seed that fell out of my compost heap seven years ago in the backyard in Hawaii. They're doing pretty good. Uh, kind of oddballs. They're perfectly round, ball-shaped avocados seven years old from the sea. I've always seen smaller ones. Pretty good. So. Yes. Huge. Yeah, that's a big one. He's very active today because the temperature is as warm as it ever gets here in, in Hawaii. We are setting heat wave records. It was 90 degrees in Hilo yesterday. It's got to be somewhere in the 80s up here in the mountains today. And the manids are active.